Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. So I have a mini update for the Keyboard Shortcuts mod for EU4. Some of the, my favorites from the CK2 version of this mod have now been successfully incorporated into EU4. So, let's talk about those. We've got, um, I had to, I had to change it slightly because unfortunately EU4 did have some key bindings of its own. Most notably they used ZX, C, and V for selecting different unit types. So for instance, while selecting an army, if you press Z, it will select the infantry. If you press X, it will select the cavalry, etc. But nonetheless, we were able to make it work. So the way that it works now is that if you, are, if you have an army or a ship, a group of ships selected, just like in Crusader Kings 2, if you want to create a new unit, you can press the B key to open the reorganized unit menu. While this menu is opened, the B key will take the bottommost character and send it to the right. Every time it's going to be the bottom most guy that goes to the right. I have no way of doing it other than that. It only selects this option here. You can still manually do it if you want, or you can somehow finagle it to you know, put certain units at the top or bottom of this visible window. But um, you can send one unit over at a time. As, like in, um, as well as in CK2, you can press the Z key to send the bottom right unit to the left. And then what you can do is, let's say that you, you want to quickly create... Um, small armies that are large enough to siege, but you don't want to use the detach siege button and you don't want to use the split army button. I find myself constantly going split, split, and then I've got to go here, find the one that's half size, split, and then check, okay, are they balanced? Um, and then, you know, you're, you're clicking split multiple times. With this, what you can do is just press B, 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 click the X here, B, 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 click, B, 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 click, B, 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 click, And one more time. Now we have that many armies that are e completely guaranteed to be equal size. Now, the only real kind of weird thing about this is that it's going to be completely scattered as far as the distribution of the army. Because I have no control over which armies are actually sent from left to right, unless you do it manually, you will get some that are pure cav, some that are pure infantry. But if you're carpet sieging, you probably don't care at that point. I mean, you should probably use something a little bit more technical. Now, once you have a huge group of armies, a very, very favorite key for me was the deselect the topmost army button, which has been rebound not to V, because with the V key, like in CK2, um, that selects transports. So I had to use the B key, <laughs> of all keys. So while you have a numerous armies selected, instead of just one, the B key deselects the top unit until you get down to just one, and then it goes back to the reorganized unit button. So for instance, we can go right-click B, right-click B, right-click B, 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 and now we're down to one. And now we've got them all fanned out nicely. Um, this works for navies and for other things, so you can use that or whatever. And then of course all the other key buttons still work. you still got the detached siege button, you still got the split in half button, you still got the, the detached damaged button, A, and uh, it just adds a little bit more functionality. Should make carpet sieging a little bit easier. Should also make um, spreading your armies out in a way that you actually want a little bit simpler as well. So that's it so far. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps out. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.